thank you so much for joining us, Dina. Truly a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you. Thanks for asking me. So really some bold uh, and drastic moves at Kraft. So I'm going to be grilling you over uh, you know, all, your, all the major decisions and the restructuring that's taken place. You know, you've initiated a project called Operation Spark, which is really yes. to rejuvenate your old brands and you know, ensure that you know, it also gets as much limelight and attention as a Kraft's power brands. If you can throw some light on what really the process is, what the operation is all about, yes. and how you're executing it. Operation Spark started a couple of years ago because we wanted to meet some hot agencies and we wanted them to get to know us. And you know, in the beginning when we started this, not everybody thought we were serious and so about doing great work. And so we had a little trouble getting interest. We also had these small brands and we knew that they weren't getting as much of everybody's attention because you've got these big power brands and we thought, what if we mix the two together? Like, let's have a mashup. Right. So we got these brands that had potential and had a little bit of money. We called agencies who we really wanted to get to know and said, if, what if we put together for eight weeks, do whatever you want, blow our socks off and even the presidents of the company would meet with the teams and say, really, don't be safe. You can't make a mistake. Let's go. So we paired five brands with five agencies. Um, and we didn't make, it's not a permanent. Okay. We just said, you can date. If you want to get married later, you can. But there's no, uh, no agreement to do so. Just go off and see what you can do. Three of them got married. Really? Yes. <laughs> we met some wonderful partners. Droga 5 and Athenos, for example, were one of those. That following year, um, Droga shortlisted here for the Athenos work, and now, even a year later, they're doing more and more work for different brands in the company. So in the long run, it really helped us attract new partners. It helped us all learn. You've also introduced uh, something called the Craft Agency Scout. Yes. What's that all about? When we first started, uh, we only had a, a, a few number of agencies we were working with. And you know you really have to do your homework. If you want to know who's out there and what they're doing and what's fresh, you also want to pick people who would be right for brands, make a good chemistry. And so uh, there's a woman in our organization who scouts creative agencies, strategic and innovation partners. Um, she spent a whole year interviewing, oh, hundreds puts together profiles. And so let's say a brand calls and says, I'm, I'm in need of a new agency. She'll say, well, let me tell you about five people I met that might be great for you. She helps make the connection, shows them work. So it helps in a lot of ways. It helps our brand teams uh, make really great choices and get introduced to people they wouldn't know. How do you see agency-client relationships evolving in the future, considering clients today believe in the concept of infidelity. And one of the elements that we talked about in the forum was uh, something that was, um, they called it like a startup. It was called Project Fly, the garage in Buenos Aires, where we had several partners come together. We brought craft people, freelancers, agency people, architects. They came together for a two week period in a place that was belonged to no one. It was a new place. They were briefed every morning. There were curators who looked at their work every night and ideas began to um, move forward as the winning ideas. What we learned incredibly from this experience is when you take away the old give and take of this relationship, I give you a brief, you give me an ad, I tell you what I don't like about it, you go back and revise it and eventually we settle on something, a 50-year-old practice of how we work. This said, no, we're not going to be on sides. We are all together. Craft people were in the room creating in the same way as agency people, as people from Hyper Island, and Nico Pimentel, who was one of the curators, he said, you're not going to believe this, but the crafties created at the same level, at the same frequency as the other people. Think about the ability to get a whole group of people and lift their creativity. What would you not pay to do this? Thank you so much, Dean. It was truly a pleasure talking to you.